guys, and welcome back to another Warframe video. So we're doing all my Nightwave challenges, and here we are with the first Nightwave Augment of Season 7. We got the Burning Hate Augment for the Hate Scythe, and yeah, this one, we already said before it came out, the Hate didn't need an Augment like this to increase the status damage, but here it is, and it's got some issues for sure. So we'll be doing a full review of this, and basically showing some builds and all that kind of stuff. So, if you're interested in this mod, I'm going to show you how good it is or how underwhelming it is, depending on how you look at it. So, let's get right into it. But before we do, make sure you sub this channel. We do daily Warframe video uploads. Everything from build videos, discussion videos, news videos, all that kind of stuff in the right place for Warframe content. Appreciate all support recently, guys. It really means a lot. Alright, so starting off with how this mod works, uh, we're going to first explain how the Hate Incarnine works itself. So, the Hate... Uh, Scythe is to be that weapon that drops in the Stalker, one of the weapons that drops in the Stalker. Melee weapon has base, impact, puncture, slash. When you go to the Incarnon form uh, with the Incarnon adapter, it will release uh, base, fire, heat, uh, projectiles that will explode and cause some damage. The, now, the mod Burning Hate requires heat procs active on enemies to actually be effective. So if you're on the Incarnon form with the Hate, you can actually get some built-in heat through that method. Unfortunately, though, the way that this mod actually works is not exactly the best. But yeah, it reads like this. When the hate damages an enemy inflicted with heat status, they become vulnerable to 120% more status damage. So if you read it really, really carefully, you might actually understand how this works. But yes, the way this works, it applies a secondary debuff to the enemies affected by heat procs as long as the hate has damaged them. But unfortunately for this mod, that does not apply to the initial hit and slash proc of a heavy attack, which kind of defeats the entire purpose of this mod existing. But going ahead and showing how this works with the actual gameplay performance here. Uh, this is the, the test I am going to show you right here. We have only Burning Hate as a damage mod on this build. And we have Natomos with a fire proc build to get those fire procs enemies. You could use procs from like Ember's abilities, Nezha's abilities, whoever you want to. But remember that the initial hit is not going to be buffed by this. It will basically take two hits to actually get the second hit buffed by this mod. So go ahead and show this Exo Gox I'm going to do a heavy attack in a controlled environment. So I do a heavy attack. 938 slash proc with no fire procs on them. So I'll throw a fire proc on them. You would think it would be buffed after that because there's a fire proc on them. The first one was 938. The second attack, 938 slash proc again. So watch the second heavy attack. So 2.8 on the second heavy attack after they were on fire. So as you can see... This mod requires two hits on the enemy to actually apply this, to have this debuff actually working. So, the way it's going to work, and the way it's, the reason this is probably not a mod I'm ever going to use, is because we're so used to the one shots of this crazy weapon, it's probably not going to get used in the vast majority of circumstances because you have to hit them with a light attack and then hit them with a heavy attack to actually have it work. So, for my normal heavy attack, what I usually use Killing Blow. Uh, where Burning Hate is right now, just to put that in perspective. So, I'm sacrificing this mod for that mod uh, in this specific situation. But we're going to go ahead and show it. Uh, and of course, Crescendo is not going to be active here. I'm just showing my actual heavy attack build what I normally use. Uh, the fact that everything's not going to be active is not too big of a deal to me. I do have a Riven as well with attack speed, crit damage, and heavy efficiency. Um, yeah, it's not, it doesn't really change anything with this build at all. So, all right, going in and summoning in some enemies, you can go ahead and see how this is an action in Mish, or in, in, in the Sim. And then we're going to show a light attack build if you want to use this with melee influence. Uh, it, it's okay with melee influence. But it definitely could use a little bit of work. All right, so we're gonna fully swap to the melee so we get a bunch of initial kind of combo really easily. It's one of the Incarnon perks of the hate. We've got Tenno Kai mod to actually get some uh, easy heavy efficiency, even though we have heavy efficiency Riven. So now we're in Incarnon form. Our light attacks fire out projectiles that can cause heat attacks or heat heat damage procs. So these guys would be debuffed for a big nasty heavy attack. These guys over here, even if I hit up with the Epitaph procs, they are not debuffed for the uh, the burning hate yet. Now this one's proc for the burning hate but as you can see if i want just to one shot these guys the mod is doing basically nothing so let's go ahead and uh okay so she does it's gonna work on her but it won't work on the enemy behind hers for example so extremely high damage numbers um if you actually you know hit with a light attack first then heavy but if we're not if you're not getting a light attack in there first the mod is doing literally nothing you should just use killing blow or something else instead so that's gonna be the heavy attack setup you basically need the light attack then heavy which is really, just feels wrong, honestly. Uh, so I'd say just use a normal heavy attack build in the hate and don't use this mod unless they fix it uh, because the initial heavy attack slash is not being affected. You would think, like the, the way it's worded, you would think, okay, if we're playing by the rules that DE has provided to us with this mod uh, and we're going off the testing as well, the first hit should not be buffed because it's not even a DOT. But the, the DOT uh, slash afterwards should be buffed because 
We're hitting him with a heavy attack, and that should apply the debuff. Then the slash dot, like the slash tick afterwards, should be affected by that increased DOT uh, multiplier, but it's not. Additionally, the math of this is actually a little bit on the weirder side. So since it is applying a separate debuff, it is multiplying your melee elementalist mod. So you're basically taking melee elementalist, and there's a separate status da damage debuff on the enemy, making this like you know hundreds of percent of extra slash proc damage and heat proc damage for that matter too. Okay, so clearly I don't like it for a normal uh, light, a heavy attack build. I'm going to just put Killing Blow back on there. I'll be looking at the patch notes to see if DE buffs or fixes this one. But for the meantime, yeah, not really getting used. Maybe for a light attack build. Let's go ahead and show a light attack build uh, and how you can proc electric and heat with melee influence with Lavos. Because Lavos is unfortunately the frame you have to use for this uh, because there's a lot of weird stuff with this mod. Um, or rather, a lot of weird stuff to hate in Karn on special attacks. So we've got Lavos right here, and we've got a Gas Electric. But this is one of the only ways in the game to get Heat and Electric with Melee Influence uh, on the same build. And as you can see, there's a Gas Electric on here. You're not seeing Heat. The Heat's going to come from Lavos' ability, actually, because it's a lot of hoops to jump through for this. So we got the Valiance Fusion Augment for Lavos. And I apparently have an uh, empty mod slot, but whatever. Um, the Casting Ability imbues an extra element on your weapon uh, as a 200% elemental bonus and a guaranteed weapon status. So this, unfortunately, this becomes elemental mod for the hate, so we cannot make it where the projectiles are going to be doing uh, fire and the, the base hits will be doing electric. We have to, like, force it to do electric and heat, basically. So the this will work, we're going to mod our weapon for gas electric. You can technically mod for some other stuff, too, but gas electric is probably the easiest. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to just use melee influence like a normal player, but we're going to have fire procs and electric procs on them because we're going to cast Lavos' abilities. So... We go ahead, and so the build is Gas Electric or not. It can proc melee influence now, no problem. But what we're going to do is we're going to get some Incarnon here, and then we're going to use Lavos's uh, Snake Slap to get fire and electric. So now these guys are on fire, and they're electric, and they're gas. So they're pretty much just super, super dead. So lots of DOTs right there. Unfortunately, Lavos is required for this to work. Um, but yeah, they're going to be getting that effect of the heat DOT increasing. There's also Elementalist on here getting a DOT increase as well. So lots of DOT increases on this current setup. So you can just kind of like walk around. And also, yeah, this mod does increase the DOTs the Acolytes take by quite a bit. You can actually kill an Acolyte with a heat proc pretty easily with this mod. So it does have some use cases. But yeah, for, for heavy attack builds, it's too uh, it's too slow. If they, if they were to make it where the initial hit is buffed, which I, I feel like it would be fair, honestly, uh, it would become a lot more useful. I'd probably run it on like my, my Ash build for like the Hate and Karnon. But yeah, as it stands right now, guys, we are too used to one-shots in Warframe for me to use this mod. Uh, because even if I, throw an, if I throw an Epitaph Heat Proc on them and then I Heavy Attack them, that's not being buffed. That feels wrong to me. So for right now, I'm probably not going to use this mod. I'm not, probably not recommend people don't use this mod either. Unless you're okay with a, a Light Attack into a Heavy Attack for killing a high-level enemy. So yeah, that's basically the overview of this thing. It's a first impressions for sure. Um, there is some synergy. So as far as synergies with this... Um, you need to get a heat proc on them and then heavy and then hit them. Uh, so if you're okay with light attacks and stuff like that, uh, you can use things like open them eyes from Jade, armor strip, and a heat proc once the armor's all gone. You could use Ember's fire blast for fire procs and armor strip. You could use Neja's first ability, uh, like Firewalker. Like, there's plenty of options. You can use Thermal Sunder even. If the enemy's got a fire proc on them, you have the option to like you'll get this increased DOT. It is only the DOT numbers themselves, not the actual base hits. But that's, you know, that's what the mod says it's supposed to do. So what is the major issue with this besides the fact it is a kind of annoying mod to use? I feel like this mod, like not even changing, don't even change the words. This mod could have been for the Despair Incarnon instead of the Dread Incarnon, or the uh, Hate Incarnon, whatever it's called. The Hate Incarnon is already one of the strongest melee weapons in the game. This is, trying to force to do something weird like this just not, does not feel appropriate. So I feel like they could have made this exact same mod for the Despair Incarnon, like the Throwing Star weapon for the Stalker. And that thing is very, like, it's, it's a low use number compared to, like, the Hate Incarnon, and I'm assuming the Dread Incarnon, too. The Despair Incarnon is forgettable at best. Uh, this could have been great on the Despair Incarnon, because that thing has built-in fire procs, too. And it doesn't, unlike a melee, where, you know, each melee swing takes a while, for a throwing star weapon, you could throw out multiple throwing stars really fast. So the fact that the first hit is not, is not applying the DOT increase would not matter anywhere near as much, because, you know, you're throwing out multiple daggers. The first dagger hits... Fire proc on them. Every other dagger after that would be buffed up. So, literally, I don't know why they've made this mod for the hate. I don't get it. I really don't get it. It's maybe for people that don't have melee elementalists or something. But you should stack it with melee elementalists because they stack together so well. So, I don't get it. Uh, but, yeah, either way, um, the hate and Cardon did not need this help. The hate and Cardon can one-shot level 10,000s very easily with multiple frames. 
As far as melee influence, Lavos is concerned, Lavos can do melee influence on pretty much any weapon, so uh, this is just forcing forcing it to become useful, and useful in quotations. So, yeah, at least it's, it's electric and heat, so we're proccing our burning hate augment, and we're proccing melee influence, so we can spread that constantly with gas as well. There's lots and lots of DOTs on the ground, and it can take care of acolytes better than you would think, honestly, for a build like this. This build is def definitely not meant for acolytes, but it's meant for ad clear, but the acolyte dies really, really easily, too, so... Hope you guys found this video fun, helpful. The Dread Augment will be about three weeks, I'd say. But I'll definitely be doing all those Nightwing challenges to get that stuff to you guys. But yeah, would not recommend going all in on this thing. Um, as far as some like combination elements you could do, you could make a corrosive heat build. You could make a, a viral heat build. Um, you could just do a pure no elementals build like I kind of had for my heavy attack build. Um, there are some options. I don't think they're that great though, so... Uh, you can also use things like Diraga or uh, Nautilus to put heat procs enemies too. But again, these uh, these these things are already good. You're just kind of trying to make another synergy level that's not necessary at this point. So enjoy your two shots. I'm not going to call it a one shot. Enjoy your two shots with this mod. And I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Peace.